sleep, honey. It's too early for you. Mm. I'll reset the alarm. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? What, are you leaving? You're still asleep. I'm going to see my mother. Your mother? I didn't know you had a mother. Oh, that's, that's right. Bye, baby. I'll miss you. Charlie, what do you want? What are you doing here? Are you busy? Yes, I'm busy. Is anything wrong? No, no. Everything's fine. Great, in fact. I've got something for you to look at and consider. I think you'll be interested. Why now? Have you got it with you? Yeah. Right here. Okay, give it to me. I'll call you. Because you hate your father doesn't mean I'm going to treat you like your father. I'm not your father. I never treated you like I was. So now you hate me because of your father. Can't you see how mean that is to me? I mean, why should I have to take the blame? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. I feel like I just masturbated. As if words came into my head and excited me. And I pursued them, only to become bored, in search of something new, another phrase, perhaps. I've got to stop this. I've got to stop this. I'm shadow boxing, except that there's no big fight drawing near. And my own shadows have worn me out. I'm only fighting myself, just fighting myself. Are you all right? What are you shouting about? You're back. Mm. How was your mother? Oh, she's fine. She was having a birthday party. She didn't even notice I was there. What's this? Uh, that's, uh, nothing. If nothing. that's what I think it is, you promised me you wouldn't not another one. Honey, it's, it's not what you think. Listen, this, this is brilliant. This is one of the best things I've ever done. And you're in on it, too. Well, do you think you have enough time to pull off something like this? Today, I negotiated one of the biggest deals in my whole career. I deserve a little enjoyment. Besides, this will be fun. Well, I guess I can't say no for you. Well, what about for you? you do it? I could be persuaded. I have to think about it. I bet. Ooh, was the Birdman. Was here. Look, Frank Nitty. He was there, I think, for yeah. a little while. I Frank went there Nitty. a few weeks ago. You know? The world. It's round, right? Of course. Well, are we on the inside or the outside? 
the outside. How come we don't fall off? The law of gravity. Well, what happened before the law was passed? Tell me that, huh? I've got a job to do. I think I can use you to help me pull it off. Uh. Now, if only I could find an African. Excuse me. I'm new in town. Can you direct me to the Palace of Fine Art? Sure. Here. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Have a sandwich. Oh, thank you. Help yourself. I love you. I really do. I love you too. Very much. And from now on, we'll spend more time alone. Okay? And we won't have to have people over so much. We don't need such a social life. And only one other thing. What's up? Do you think we can get a bigger bed? One of these brochures? Yep. I'd like to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? One that involves your knowledge as captain of a ship. What ship? Your own. I don't understand. Let me buy you a drink. I'll explain it to you. And this is part of it? That's right. I asked you all here today because I want you to get to know each other right away. I take it you've all read the material. Are there any questions? Yeah. No questions. Okay, let's begin. Turn to page one. Looks like the... <clears throat> did you invite all those people? No, honey, Charlie did it. It's fair weather, Captain. That's your line. Yeah. It's fair weather, Captain. Looks like the weather pass, uh, the storm passed us by way of our stars, but last night. Aye, matey, and we will continue to dodge disaster to our starboard and our port. Her fate is in a pleasant mood when she takes us into countenance. Captain! Captain! Aye, speak up, lad. Captain, the crew is threatening to mutiny. The ship has sprung a leak, and the cook, Captain. Aye, what about the cook? The cook is nowhere to be found. We feared he's jumped ship. Oh, who will cook for us? Mate, go and see if Tyron can cook. Okay, Tyron, Maria, do a bit. Now, okay, you stay there, because you're in the next scene. Stay okay. back there. And Tyron, at this point you come in and say, yes, I've had experience. I cooked at the Barbados Hilton, mm -hmm. and also took a course in Paris, a Cordon Bleu course. And you say that to the captain there. Okay, right. should we try that? Um, okay. You go back now, and we'll try it again from the top with you entering. Okay? Uh, let's get back to the scene one. You're out there, okay. And then you're out here. Okay, let's place it. And take that line again. Tis fair weather, Captain, okay? Good. Tis fair weather, Captain. Looks like the storm passed us by way of our starboard last night. Aye, and we will continue to dodge all disaster to our starboard and our port. For fate is in a pleasant mood when she takes us into her countenance. Captain! Aye, Captain! <laughs> Okay, right, right, <laughs> cut there.
Take it from your line again. A wee bit softer. It's like you've been running up from the ship's deck. You've just had this terrible news. You go panting up and say, Captain! 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 Hi, speak up, lad. Captain! The crew is starting to mutiny. The ship has sprung a leak. And the cook, Captain! Hi, what about the cook? The cook is nowhere to be found. We fear he's jumped ship. Who will cook for us? Mate, go and see if Tyron can cook. Okay, Tyron, this is now you come running in. And Maria and uh okay. I'm the captain. Captain? I've had experience at the Barbados Hilton in a Cordon Bleu course in Paris. But can you cook biscuits aboard a ship? For de Mori, no. <laughs> oh, fine, yeah. Oh. Okay, cut. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's just a few points I'd like to make. Now, your line here. I mate. No, is that you? Yeah. I mate, and we will continue to dodge all disasters while starboard on our port. Now that can be really to claim it like you're, you know, this big captain of this great big powerful ship, and you say, I mate, and we will continue to dodge. You know, like it's been this terrible storm, and you're the fight like Ahab and Moby Dick. You read that? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know that. Like, like the captain of the Pequod, you're sort of this maniac. Okay, so you do that really high, and this guy comes running in, terrible news. He's all out of breath. <laughs> captain, captain, and you say, okay, speak up, lad, calm down, you know. Strong, forthright, and then you go, Captain, the crew is threatening to mutiny, the ship is sprang on and the cook, Captain! Ah, ah, ah. You know, you're all excited. And then you say, uh, Hi, what about the cook? Very calm. Then you keep going, okay? We'll try that from the top again. Right, back to your place. And speak up a bit more. Your first okay. line, speak up. Very statuesque, okay? Right. Let's try. How's the weather, mate? This fair weather, Captain. Looks like the storm passed us by way of our starboard last night. Aye, mate. And we will continue to dodge all disaster. For fate is in a pleasant mood when she takes us into her countenance. Captain! Captain! Aye, aye. What, what is it, lad? Captain! The crew is threatening to mutiny. The ship has sprung a leak. And the cook, Captain! Aye, what about the cook? The cook! It's nowhere to be found. We fear you some shit. Who will cook for us? Mate, go and see if Tyron can cook. Okay, now at this point, uh, the cook is nowhere. Um, who will cook for us? Now you can take so it's like a step out and it's pensive. This is real, you know, like a tragedy. If, you, if there's no cook, everyone will go. There'll be a mutiny. There you go. <gasps> the cook is nowhere to be found. If he's found. Who will cook for us? Then you think, Tyron. You remember when you hired Tyron? You'd heard something about him being able to cook. He'd, he'd, he'd done some spiel. You, know, you remember that. You say, mate, go ask Tyron if he can cook. And then Tyron comes up and we start that scene again. Okay? Well, we'll take a break now, I think. Done well. <laughs>